Attention Canadian seniors, are you ready for a financial boost? The government has just announced an exciting update that could put an extra $400 in your pocket through the Old Age Security OAS and Canada Pension Plans PEEP programs. Don't miss out on this opportunity to enhance your retirement income. Stay tuned as we break down everything you need to know about this important change and how it could benefit you. The recent announcement of a $400 increase in OAS and KEP benefits for eligible Canadian seniors has created quite a stir in the retirement community. This boost in financial support comes as a welcome relief for many older adults who may be struggling with rising costs of living and inflation. As we delve into the details of this exciting update, it's important to understand the context of these programs and how they fit into the broader landscape of retirement planning in Canada. The Old Age Security OS program is one of the cornerstones of Canada's retirement income system. It provides a monthly pension to eligible seniors age 65 and older, regardless of their employment history. The OAS is funded through general tax revenues and is designed to provide a basic level of income security for older Canadians. On the other hand, the Canada Pension Plan SPEEP is a contributory program that provides retirement, disability, and survivor benefits to eligible individuals and their families. Unlike the OAS, the CAP is funded through contributions made by employees, employers, and self-employed individuals throughout their working lives. The announcement of a $400 increase in these benefits is significant for several reasons. First and foremost, it represents a tangible increase in the monthly income of many Canadian seniors. For those living on fixed incomes, an extra $400 can make a substantial difference in their quality of life helping to cover essential expenses such as groceries, medications, or utility bills. This increase also demonstrates the government's commitment to supporting older adults and recognizing the challenges they face in maintaining financial stability during retirement. To fully appreciate the impact of this $400 increase, it's essential to consider the current benefit amounts for both OAS and CAP. As of 2024, the maximum monthly OAS payment for seniors age 65 to 74 is $713.34. For those age 75 and older, the maximum monthly payment is $784.67. The CAP retirement pension amount varies depending on several factors, including the individual's contributions to the plan and the age at which they choose to start receiving benefits. As of 2024, the maximum monthly CAP retirement pension at age 65 is $1,364.60. When we add the $400 increase to these existing benefit amounts, we can see a significant boost in potential retirement income. For example, a senior receiving the maximum OAS benefit and the maximum SPEEP retirement pension could potentially see their monthly income increase from $2,077.94 to $2,477.94. This represents a substantial 19% increase in their combined OAS and SPEP benefits. For many seniors, this additional income could mean the difference between just getting by and being able to enjoy a more comfortable retirement. It's important to note that not all seniors will receive the full $400 increase. The exact amount of the boost may vary depending on individual circumstances such as income level, age, and years of CAP contributions. Additionally, the increase may be implemented gradually over time rather than as a single lump sum. As with any government program, there are likely to be specific eligibility criteria and potential clawbacks for higher income seniors. These details will be crucial for seniors to understand as they plan for their financial future. The announcement of this increase also raises questions about the long-term sustainability of Canada's retirement income system. With an aging population and increasing life expectancies, there is growing pressure on programs like OAS and SPE to provide adequate support for a larger number of retirees over longer periods. The government's decision to boost benefits by $400 suggests a recognition of these challenges and a commitment to ensuring that seniors have access to sufficient financial resources in their later years. However, it's also important to consider the broader economic implications of such an increase. While the additional income will undoubtedly benefit many seniors, it also represents a significant expenditure for the government. This raises questions about how the increase will be funded and whether it will impact other areas of government spending or lead to changes in taxation policies. As responsible citizens, it's crucial to consider both the immediate benefits and the long-term consequences of such policy decisions. For seniors who are already receiving OAS and PEP benefits, the process of obtaining this increase may be relatively straightforward. In many cases, adjustments to benefit amounts are made automatically based on the information the government already has on file. However, it's always a good idea for beneficiaries to stay informed about any changes to their benefits and to contact Service Canada if they have any questions or concerns about their payments. For those approaching retirement age or considering when to start claiming their SCAPE benefits, this increase may factor into their decision-making process. The additional $400 could potentially influence choices about when to retire or whether to delay claiming SPEP benefits to receive a higher monthly amount. It's important for individuals in this situation to carefully consider their options and perhaps seek advice from a financial professional who can help them make informed decisions based on their unique circumstances.
The announcement of this benefit increase also serves as a reminder of the importance of staying informed about changes to retirement programs and policies. The landscape of retirement planning is constantly evolving, with adjustments to benefit amounts, eligibility criteria, and program structures occurring regularly. Seniors and those approaching retirement age should make a habit of staying up to date on these changes as they can have significant impacts on their financial well-being. One effective way to stay informed is to regularly check official government websites, such as the Government of Canada's website or the specific pages for OAS and CAP. These sites often provide the most current and accurate information about benefit amounts, eligibility criteria, and any upcoming changes to the programs. Additionally, many financial institutions and retirement planning organizations offer newsletters or updates on changes to government benefits, which can be valuable resources for staying informed. It's also worth noting that, while the $400 increase in OAS and PEP benefits is certainly welcome news, it shouldn't be seen as a replacement for personal retirement savings and planning. Government benefits are designed to provide a basic level of income security, but they may not be sufficient to maintain the lifestyle that many individuals desire in retirement. This increase serves as an excellent opportunity for Canadians to reassess their retirement plans and consider how they can maximize their income from all sources. For those who are still working, this news might serve as a motivation to increase their contributions to personal retirement savings vehicles such as registered retirement savings plans or RSPs or tax-free savings accounts TFSAs. By complementing government benefits with personal savings, individuals can build a more robust and flexible retirement income strategy that can better withstand economic uncertainties and provide a higher standard of living in retirement. The $400 increase also highlights the importance of understanding how different sources of retirement income interact with one another. For example, OAS benefits are subject to a recovery tax often referred to as the OAS clawback for higher income seniors. As income from other sources increases, including SPAP and personal savings, it's possible that some seniors might see a reduction in their OAS benefits. Understanding these interactions is crucial for effective retirement planning and maximizing overall retirement income. Another aspect to consider is how this increase might affect seniors differently depending on their living situation and location. For those living in areas with a higher cost of living, such as major urban centers, the $400 increase may have a relatively smaller impact on their overall financial situation. Conversely, for seniors living in areas with a lower cost of living or those who have managed to significantly reduce their expenses in retirement, this increase could represent a more substantial boost to their disposable income. The announcement of this benefit increase also raises important questions about interdurational equity and the social contract between different age groups in society. While the increase is undoubtedly positive for current seniors, it's important to consider how it might be perceived by younger generations who are facing their own financial challenges such as high housing costs, student debt, and uncertain job markets. Balancing the needs of different generations is a complex challenge that policymakers must grapple with as they make decisions about retirement income programs. It's also worth considering how this increase in benefits might impact seniors' decisions about continuing to work in retirement. With the additional income from the $400 boost, some seniors might feel more financially secure and choose to retire fully, potentially opening up job opportunities for younger workers. On the other hand, the increase might provide others with the financial flexibility to pursue part-time work or volunteer opportunities that align with their interests and values, without the pressure of needing the income to make ends meet. The $400 increase in OAS and SPEP benefits also serves as a reminder of the importance of advocacy for seniors' issues. Organizations representing older adults have long been calling for increases to retirement benefits to help seniors keep pace with rising costs of living. This announcement can be seen as a victory for these advocacy efforts and underscores the power of collective action in shaping public policy. It may inspire more seniors to get involved in advocacy efforts or to pay closer attention to political issues that affect their financial well-being. For family members and caregivers of seniors, this increase in benefits could also have positive ripple effects. The additional income might help alleviate some of the financial pressure on families who are providing support to older relatives. It could potentially reduce the need for financial assistance from adult children or allow seniors to afford additional care services that can improve their quality of life and independence. As we consider the implications of this $400 increase, it's also important to think about financial literacy and education for seniors. While the boost in benefits is certainly positive, it's crucial that seniors understand how to manage this additional income effectively. This could be an excellent opportunity for community organizations, financial institutions, and government agencies to offer workshops or resources on budgeting, investing, and making the most of retirement income. The announcement of this benefit increase also highlights the ongoing debate about the role of government in providing for retirement security. Some may view this increase as a necessary step to ensure that seniors can maintain a decent standard of living, while others might argue that individuals should bear more responsibility for their own retirement savings. This debate is likely to continue as governments around the world grapple with the challenges of aging populations and increasing life expectancies.
It's also worth considering how this increase in benefits might affect seniors' consumer behavior and its potential impact on the broader economy. With an extra $400 in their pockets, some seniors might increase their spending on goods and services, which could provide a boost to local businesses and communities. This increased consumer activity could have positive ripple effects throughout the economy, potentially creating jobs and stimulating growth in sectors that cater to older adults. The $400 increase also raises questions about the future of retirement planning, and the evolving nature of work and careers. As life expectancies increase and the nature of work changes, traditional notions of retirement are being challenged. Some individuals are choosing to work well past the traditional retirement age, either out of necessity or personal preference. Others are embracing phased retirement or in core careers. How does this benefit increase fit into these changing patterns of work and retirement? And how might it influence individuals' decisions about when and how to retire? Another important consideration is how this benefit increase might impact seniors' housing decisions. For some, the extra $400 per month might make it possible to remain in their own homes longer, potentially delaying or avoiding the need to move to assisted living facilities. This could have significant implications for the senior housing market and for families planning for long-term care needs. It's also crucial to consider how this benefit increase fits into the broader context of senior poverty and income inequality. While a $400 boost is certainly welcome, it may not be enough to lift all seniors out of poverty or to significantly reduce income disparities among older adults. This raises important questions about what additional measures might be needed to ensure that all seniors have access to a decent standard of living in their retirement years. The announcement of this benefit increase also provides an opportunity to reflect on the importance of social connections and community support for seniors. While financial security is crucial, it's just one aspect of overall well-being in retirement. As we consider the impact of this $400 increase, it's important to also think about how we can support seniors in maintaining social connections, staying active and engaged in their communities, and accessing the services and support they need to thrive in their later years. In conclusion, the announcement of a $400 increase in OAS and TEP benefits for Canadian seniors is indeed exciting news that has the potential to significantly impact the financial well-being of many older adults. This boost in retirement income could provide greater financial security, enhance quality of life, and offer more choices and flexibility for seniors in their daily lives. However, it's important to approach this news with a balanced perspective, considering both the immediate benefits and the broader implications for retirement planning, government policy, and intergenerational equity. As we move forward, it will be crucial for seniors, their families, and all Canadians to stay informed about the details of this benefit increase, including eligibility criteria, implementation timelines, and any potential impacts on other aspects of retirement income. This increase should also serve as a catalyst for broader discussions about retirement security, the sustainability of pension systems, and how we as a society can best support our aging population. Ultimately, while this $400 increase is a positive step, it should be seen as part of a larger picture of retirement planning and financial security. Seniors and those approaching retirement should continue to take an active role in managing their finances, staying informed about changes to government programs, and seeking professional advice when needed. By combining government benefits with personal savings and careful planning, Canadians can work towards a more secure and fulfilling retirement. As we wrap up our discussion of this exciting update to OAS and PEP benefits, it's clear that there are many factors to consider and many potential impacts to explore. Whether you're a current retiree, someone approaching retirement age, or a younger individual thinking about your future financial security, this news serves as an important reminder of the evolving nature of retirement planning and the need to stay informed and proactive in managing your financial future. By staying engaged, informed, and adaptable, we can all work towards a more secure and prosperous retirement, benefiting not just individual seniors, but our communities and society as a whole.